Hello guys, I'm Batland16 PS3 and welcome back to episode 7 of my Gran Turismo 6 Let's Play series. Uh, at the end of the last episode I came out of the National B tier and I had this message from Lord March. You are hereby invited to participate in the festival, Goodwood Festival of Speed. I've prepared a selection of world class cars for you and will be honoured if you would kindly attend the event and put these historic machines through their paces. I look forward to meeting you in person. Yours, Lord March. For those of you that don't know, uh, the Goodwood Festival of Speed is an annual hill climb event held in the UK, I believe every June or July, and professional racing drivers and the like uh, come to put quite fast cars, and indeed some very classic cars, up the hill climb and see what time they get. I don't know if there's a prize for the winner, um, but I think the course record is currently held by Nick Hydefield that was in a old McLaren Formula 1 car. Uh, so yeah, it's it's always a good weekend when the hill climbs on. It's always a lot of fun to watch. Unfortunately, I've never been up there myself. Um, but unfortunately, this is now going to have to be saved for the next episode. Because this episode was earmarked for the mission races. And here it's just telling me I've received a letter from Lord March. Um, so yeah, I've earmarked this episode for the mission races. So that's going to have to be done in the next episode and oh GT Academy's on this year I'm not going to take part because I'm just terrible in truth so let's move on to the mission races in the national B tier and we've got compact car battle first how many are there to five all right so Five mission races, that's not bad. Uh, second is the FF Sports Car Battle. Then Read the Road, London City Skirmish. Very tight track. Uh, Where to Make Your Move, Bathurst Battle. That could be a lot of fun. I haven't actually done that track before. I've wanted to do it in several games, but unfortunately Gran Turismo hasn't put it in until now. And the last mission race is Nissan GTR Showdown around Silverstone. Uh, the Grand Prix circuit. But start at the beginning, work our way up. That's Compact Car Battle. Uh, tips. These cars are low on power output, so if you try your hardest not to lose speed, it'll be hard to build it back up again. This car has got 108 brake horsepower. It's a March 12 SR07. This car has actually got more horsepower than my car in real life. That's hardly lacking power. And gold time is 33 minutes. Uh, 33 minutes? 33 seconds, 0.5. So let's get into this. Around Tsukuba. Again, I hope I'm saying that right. I'm not Japanese. Don't know pronunciations. Uh, I got 34 and a half seconds for a silver and 37 seconds for a bronze. So much. That looks like the Japanese equivalent of a Nissan Micra. Not sure. Um, but it seems like this is only a fairly short section we've got to do. Just First straight, I think. Anyway, let's try and catch this guy. One more speed. Break. Try and hug the apex. Ah, I'm understeering a little bit. Not good. Alright, pick our spot round him. Uh, inside. No. Oh, whoops. My bad. Shouldn't have bumped him. Round the outside. Make sure I get it in before him. And understeering and bouncing off. Not good. Brace for the line. Four tenths off. I've got a silver. That's, that's not bad. But that was all due to me hitting him up the jacksy with the front of my car. Should have been more careful about picking my line. Break. See the ghost trying to get up. Fast it around this corner, try and hug it. That's a lot better. I like that. Come on. Alright, where should I go? Outside again. Ah, I've missed my gear change. Look at the ghost go. Oh, that's really upset me. Just lunge down the inside. Look how much slower I am. That's terrible. Ah. 34.3. I've still got a silver. That's not bad, I suppose, but as soon as I was only four tenths off, it's quite terrible. 
Right, last go. Oh, I've got a trophy. I'll have to read that in the recording. Try to hug it. Make sure I don't hit him or forget to change gear. Gear change. Done. Good. Ground him. Even better. Good. Brake. Down a second. Turn in. Good enough. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. And to the line. Ooh, two tenths up. 33.3. That'll do me. Don't want to watch the replay. 3,960 with my 110% login bonus. Just under 90,000 credits now. And I don't want to retry this, so come out. And on to mission race two, which is the FF sports car battle. FF cars, where both the engine and drive wheels are in front. The key is to skillfully handling. The key to skillful handling, sorry, lies in careful acceleration control. If you steer when the accelerator is not being pressed and the weight of the car is shifted forward, you will turn more quickly. Yeah, front engine, front wheel drive cars tend to understeer a little bit. And it's just the first corner first section I think. It was a nice surprise to get that letter from Lord March about the Goodwood Festival of Speed. I've seen it on TV. It does look fun but I wasn't expecting to get it this early in the game. So that should definitely be a fun episode. Uh, target time at 31.3 for this mission. Just try not to think too far ahead in the future. And they've given me a Honda Integra Type R. Seems like a nice car. Just going down first chicane-ish type thing and through the tunnel. I remember this track has a tunnel. I think it actually has two tunnels. Yeah, it's the first one. It is way away in the distance. See how quickly we can catch him, if at all. Can't get him under braking, that's not good. Under steering off. Got him. Uh, too busy getting him. Not looking where I was braking. Crap. Disqualified. Barrier collision. Well, there you go. My first fuck up. Probably going to be one of many this episode. Just try and catch him. Don't need to brake there. Keep the foot planted. First braking spot down to third. Too much revs. Got to change gear. Brake down to second. Tunnel. Get around him again. Make sure I brake. I broke, but the line is horrible. Spot. 32.8. I thought I was at least going to get a silver. How could I have been that bad? Well, I guess it was all that last corner. Cock up. Massively understeering off. Let's just try and get it a little bit better this time. Remember to change gear. That's always good. Ghost is creeping up. And yeah, completely forgot to hit the brake. Absolute idiot. Slower than my ghost, and I haven't even braked yet. That's good. I'm even closer to him this time. Sure, I don't hit him. Leave him enough room. Round the outside. Back 
Breaking, break. Good. Look at that. That's how much I understood off first time round. Still only a bronze though. Three tenths. That's all that understeer cost me. Where am I losing the time? This is just madness. I want to at least try and get a silver on this. Only half a tenth, uh, half a second away. I'm even closer to him this time. Ooh. Got a little bit on the curb too much. S slam it down his inside. That should probably gain me at least half a second, hopefully. As long as I remember to break, which I did. Turn, change gear. Just. Wow. Eight thousandths of a second. Thank God for that. Well, now I've done that, let's see if I can get that extra seven. Somewhere. Just somewhere. There's got to be somewhere I can get it. Just ahead of my ghost there. The brake but didn't change gear. Gave me a bit. Ooh. Didn't expect him to break that hard. Please. No, nah, I'm not ahead of him. Though. No. I'm slower. Right, I'm going to do this one off camera just to try and get that extra seven tenths just so that I don't bore you all with me failing miserably all the time. And let's just move on to the next one. We're what, 11, 12 minutes in? Let's get all that monies. And exit out of this. Really want to know where I'm losing an extra seven tenths on that lap. Alright, London City Skirmish. Uh, track is narrow, it's easy to collide with other cars, so the key lies in knowing where to make your move. Don't waste time and effort trying to pass on the consecutive corners of the middle section. Patience is what will pay off here. Something which I sorely, sorely lack. I lack any kind of patience. I just want things to be done as quickly as possible. First time. We got a Lotus Europa Special 72. Yeah, look, it's a Lotus, so it should handle pretty good, but it's an older car, so it will probably handle like a boat. And I've got to try and get at least 35 seconds or less. Let's see how we go. And I'm against more than one car this time. That could make this even more fun or disastrous, depending on your point of view. Break. Absolute Egypt. You can see I'm breaking. Why do you need to hit me? Right, let's try and do this properly. Without numbnuts here spinning me off. Stay well away from him. And he just dives back up around me outside. Fantastic. Slipstream him. He's inside. Try and get the blue guy. He's breaking around, he's inside. And spin it around. Not clever. Being way too aggressive trying to get him up his inside without breaking too. That's just not gone well. Right, let's try and get this guy and stay in front of him this time. No, he's having another... Yep. I need to figure out how to do that first corner better, because it's just not working at the moment. Although I dispatched of him quicker than I did last time. Uh, break. Don't hit him. Still broke. It's that curb. It wasn't me being too aggressive, it's just a very, very spinny curve. Need to stay away from that. Looks like I do actually need to be patient. I told myself that I would, but yeah, I just lied to myself. 
Right, got him done before the first corner. Whoops, hit the barrier. That leaves less or oh, more time to get these two. He's inside. Break. Tack, bit of a tank slapper. Got it under control. Get him. No. Now. Good charge. Wow. I wasn't even looking at the clock. I was just trying to get round everyone. I didn't realise I was two and a half seconds off the pace. That's dreadful. Actually pay attention to the time as well. Great. Look at that ghost. That's how quick I was last time. I'm so much slower. Bad. Try and get one. No. I knew that was going to happen right as I was trying that move, but there was no way for me to back out of it. I absolutely knew he was cutting across me just by looking at how far ahead the ghost was. And massively overcooked the braking spot there. Whoops. Although, two in one corner. More time to get the guy in the white car. Could be on to a winner for this one. Be patient. Be patient. No. Oh, I'm getting annoyed at this one. I think I'm going to do this one off camera. Just so, I, again, I don't bore you. Wow, Amiga, 660 credits for a bronze. Two and a half seconds off. That's just insane. Right. Mission four. Where to make your move at Bathurst. Or Bathurst. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, sections where deceleration are required are prime spots for overtaking. Break just that little bit later than a rival car to bring yourself alongside and then power past. If you can't get inside of them on the corner, then beat them on the accelerator on the way out. So, yeah, it's just an interesting track. I've always wanted to race around this, but I've never had a a sim racing game other than Gran Turismo if it's still classed as a sim they still class it in the box art but yeah this is I've watched the Bathurst race with the Australian V8 supercars a couple of times and it seems like such a technical track it would just be really fun to have a go at it uh, got to do it in 37 and a half seconds it's only I think six corners and I get a Jaguar XKR Coupe 2010. So yeah, at the first corner, turn 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4. 5. So first 5 turns. And if this could load at some point, that would be fantastic. Only 2,000 credits for a gold. I've literally just seen that. That seems like a very dreadful, meagre amount of money for the amount of time that you would have to put into this. Well, me at least, because I'm terrible. But only 2,000. That's just not good. Come on. I'm loading for about a minute. Thank you. Alright, let's get this underway. Three opponents as well in this one, same as the last one. Break. Try not to hit anyone. Seems really slow. I'm forgetting to change gear again. Ugh. Someday I will get that right. Yeah, I think I'm just. No! Oh, big breaking spot there, did not see it. Hit the wall, this is going to be an absolutely terrible time. Wow, it's come and gone. 39.4. Two seconds off. Again. Oh. It's 
still. At least I got a bronze, I suppose. I have a feeling this might have to be a uh, off-camera job if we can't get it done in the next couple of attempts. I'm already up to 20 minutes. Changing the gear again. Wow. I've got to remember, second braking zone is a little bit harder. That's better. I can still gain a bit of time. And I can also still hit the wall. Well done, me. Figured out a way to do better and still fuck up. And I'm still on a bronze. Half a second better than last time, I suppose. And I came second. I didn't even get that other guy. This will be my last attempt. It's getting too rage inducing and I'm going very long. This is my longest video to date. Break. Don't hit him. Do remember to change gear. Ugh. Break enough. And the outside. Still hit the wall. But at least I got around the guy that was in first. Just come on, a little bit faster. Another six tenths off. I got a silver. That's something, I guess. I mean, I could do with doing that a lot better, like not hitting the wall and changing gear. And 1,760 credits. But yeah, that's not going well for me this video. Alright, let's get on to the last mission. Which is the Nissan GTR Showdown. The GTR Black Edition. Does that make it any faster? Or is that just an addition for paint colour? I don't know. But even with that last 1,600, every little bit of money helps towards buying new cars and the like to help progress through the actual races. We've got 2 minutes 20 seconds point eight to complete this one. And 2.27 I think that said for uh, a bronze. And it's the full track. Whew. I've always loved the GTR. Especially, well, I started liking these type of cars when it was the uh, Skyline R34. The car that was in Too Fast, Too Furious, the one that the late Paul Walker drove. I've loved that car for as long as I've seen it, which is since that film came out. So, 11 years by this point. And, hang on a minute. How comes he gets to take off and I have to sit here for another three seconds? Hardly seems fair. Break. And this is not going to go well, I can already tell. I am understeering all over the place. And I was just about to praise the GTR on its handling. Because it's a four wheel drive and it grips like a motherfucker. But as I've just proved, it can also understeer like a mother bleeper. <sighs> Out of the loop. Down onto the Wellington straight at slipstreaming. Inside, yeah. And started moving out towards the right. For a break, get it down. Into the old complex. And forget to change gear, clock. Come on, stop understeering. Oh, I need to just calm. Getting a bit angry with myself, just to calm down and try and take cops as fast as I can. Which is going to be too fast. And then he hits me. <sighs> right, this video's getting on, it's now 24 minutes. This will be my last go. If I get disqualified, I get disqualified. And it's going to be a real shame because I really wanted to do this one. 
but this is going to be it for this video just so I don't drag it on too much. And I completely wasn't paying attention, so of course disqualification is what I get. I'm going to do this one off camera again, so that I can shout, scream, rage, punch maybe my TV because I'm getting so angry with it. <sighs> Just need to calm. But yeah, sorry about that guys. Um, next video will be the Goodwood Festival of Speed and you can laugh at me hitting every hay bale in sight. Hi guys, I'm just adding this little bit in while I'm editing the video. Um, I'd just like to apologise profusely for the way the video has just ended. I'm extremely disappointed with my driving that I just wanted to add this little bit in at the end. Because obviously you didn't get to see a full lap with the Nissan around Silverstone. So I just wanted to uh, run through uh, everything that I did off camera that I said I would. I did before I doing this one just so I could uh, have the best go of it. Just so I wasn't raging completely at this one and then going back to the other ones. So for mission B2, which was... The, I can't actually remember what that one was. Uh, I did that on my second attempt, funnily enough. Uh, I remember now, it was around Tri Mountain. Uh, yeah, second attempt I did that. And I needed to get a time of 31 seconds uh, point 0.3. And I did it in 31.102. Uh, mission B3, which is the London City Skirmish. I did that on my sixth attempt off camera and I needed a 35 second time to get gold and I did it in 34 seconds 0 .990 so incredibly close on that one and I was just glad to get that one done um, Bathurst uh, Mission B4 I did at my ninth attempt yes it really took me that long to stop hitting the walls uh, I needed to do it in 37 and a half seconds and I did it in 37.369. So, a lot faster once I discovered to not bang into walls. Uh, this one, this lap that you're seeing here, this is my 10th attempt at this. On my third attempt, I went off at the second to last corner and got disqualified. I almost threw my steering wheel out the window. But yeah, 10 attempts off camera it took me to do this one. It was extremely tricky and as you can see there my time up to this point was 220.845 four hundredths of a second and here you can see my time that I got a gold on 220.5 so I beat it by three tenths of a second. This one drove me nuts. It was a big sigh of relief that I actually have this recorded because luckily with the Elgato Game Capture HD, the device I use, you can flashback record. So I made sure I got the gold and then I went back to where it was and then hit the record button. Just so that I could add this in at the end to appease what was quite honestly a dreadful video. And I am hoping to never do another video like that again. I think if push comes to shove, I would just do the mission races, record them, and then do the commentary afterwards. So that what happens there doesn't really happen again. Uh, but as with getting gold on all missions in any Gran Turismo game, I get a new car. Which is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 6 GSR TM Edition Special Colour Package 99. Can't remember the rally driver's name. Is it Tommy Mackinnon that drove the Mitsubishi? Always against Colin McRae in this blue Subaru. I can't remember. I think that's what the TM stands for. But yeah, new car. And here you can just see proof of gold on all of them. Very, very glad I did it. Uh, but next video is going to be the Goodwood Festival of Speed. And try not to f screw that one up. Thanks for watching.